Tell me on the next question. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I want to ask about your, your opinion regarding gay rights and LGBT, LGBTQI rights. Thank you. Well, I said, what is my opinion regarding gay rights and LGBT rights? I find Islam, there is no concept of gay and LGBT. If someone wants to be, it is again a deviation. All this that you find is because when you don't follow the law of Almighty God, for example, we believe in segregation of sexes. You go to the Western world, according to statistics of USA, a person has eight different sexual partners before he settles down with one. So now when you break the rule and you start doing fornication, start doing adultery, what happens? You get tired of it. Then you want to go more. And then you start having sex with the same sex. No one is born as a gay. There was a theory which says that gay are congenital. Later on it was proved that the person who said this theory himself was a gay. So there's nothing like a person who's born being a gay congenital. These are all theory. So when you break the rule of Almighty God, you don't practice hijab, you don't follow the rules, and, and you don't have segregation of sexes, then you get tired, you overdo the things which are haram, then you want to do bestiality. You know bestiality? Bestiality having sex with the animals. Then you start having sex in the wrong way. Then you start having lesbian. Then you start having gay. All these are deviation. When you keep on deviating, you want something new and new. And that's so that's the reason the psychologists tell that a person who doesn't have extramarital affairs, he enjoys the sexual marriage life the best. In Islam, we can only have with a wife, with a lawful wife and husband. When you keep on breaking this rule, okay, let's have a living partner, okay, let's just have fun. The moment you start having all these things, you break the rule of God and you start deviating and all these things. In Islam, there is no room. And this is all unnatural. Hope that answers the question. Thank you, sir. May I know what is, is the real issue and what connection it had because they claim they are fighting for a state, Islamic state, that's ISIL. Brother, this question has already been asked and the answer has been given. I will repeat the same answer. When you heard the question, you are asking the same thing again. I told you if anyone claims to have an Islamic state, if it's following the Quran and Sunnah, it's on the correct side. If it's not, then the wrong side. If someone kills any innocent human being, it is against the Quran and they cannot be an Islamic state. My, I think I haven't got... Brother, can we have the next question? Please. Brother, the question has been asked about and the answer has been given. Brother, the question has been asked and the answer has been given. It had not been answered satisfactorily.